beautiful sister millennia and i'm just we're just gonna like pause a second because we're gonna start a watch party in in a new group that that i've created because they've done a number on us they've done a number on us um with regards to you know this whole what's going on with the the t-r-u-m-p word and billions of pounds and dollars have been spent into programming everyone to um, you know to get to go into the vibration of hatred and separation and like I've had enough this is ridiculous the, the, from for myself personally this is my soul family he, he's like he's like the father that I, I never had and I never ever met my father and he's the first man that I can say so he's my family. Melania's my family. I've had enough. I've had enough. Because we love you. We love you. We really do. And this is to counterbalance all that, all that energy that has been put into stirring up the hatred. Like, let's be truthful here. Like, we are one family. We are all one family. And... I feel a very, very strong soul, very, very strong galactic connection with that family, with John John, with, Jay, with that whole tribe that is my tribe. And so when everyone speaks about them with this vitriol, like that hurts. It does. Does it hurt, Liam? Yeah. It does. Yeah. That's our family. And we are part of the White Hat Alliance. And if you don't want to like be part of that, that's okay. But but just stop, stop with all the silliness now. <laughs> like just just stop. So we're we're coming together to celebrate our sister. She's our very very high level Pleiadian galactic sister, Melania, beautiful humanitarian, Melania Trump. And we love you. And this is coming from Fairy King and Queen of Avalon. We love you, sister. And we are gathering here with our tribe. And I'm just going to um, share this because I've actually made a group because I've had enough. I've created a group where we can be open about our love for our family without getting destroyed, without getting battered continuously. By, by people, I've created a group. So I've just created a watch party in the group and it's called I Love DJT and everyone who's a member of the event is officially happening has automatic e uh, entrance into the group because I know that if you're coming from that group, you, you do love, you're on the team. You're on the team and we are like, we're creating balance. Balance in the world, balance in the, balance in the heavens with what's been going on with this big number that's been put on humanity. Like, and I could call it enough is enough. Like he's the only man, we, we all chose him. Every single one of our higher selves chose him for this mission. He's, he is absolutely born and created for this job. And he is a time traveler. He has a high level galactic protection. He's access to all the multiple, uh, multiple dimensional timelines through the looking glass technology. He's a beautiful, beautiful man who has come forth to, with the golden key to serve humanity. And because he has the golden key, humanity's been in prison for, for God knows how long the cabal have had the, uh, been in prison. And here comes Mr. DJT and his team, the Q team, the high level military, global, globalized military operation. And they've got, they're like, boom, 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 shakalaka, here's the golden key, guys. We're, 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 you know, we've, we've, we've had enough of this slavery. We've had enough of this trafficking. We've had enough of this enslavement. We've had enough of all these technologies being hidden from technology, uh, hidden from humanity. We've had enough. And so we, our higher self, because of the work that we did of stabilizing a fifth dimensional consciousness, awakening to our Christ self, our true, true divine Christ self, we created DJT, we created the Q team. This is all part of the golden age timeline. You know, and not many people realize that, but it, it really is the truth. And we're all one soul family, and he's part of the liberation team, and he's working for God, because this is the end of the age of Kali. 
If you look onto all the long count calendars, it, this is the end of an age. This is the end of an age, brothers and sisters, and this is the birthing of a new age. And he is, he is assisting us. Like, there's no saviour because we're all the saviours. That is, that is what is, you know, the truth about the new earth, is that mm. we are all Christ's self-realised souls, and, and we're all sovereign. There's no need for a government because we're all holy beings. We're all self-governing. And, 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 and Mr. G DJT has come along as a manifestation and a reflection of humanity, saying, here's the golden key. And then everyone's like, be, like and then the media's like, oh, we're going to hate him because he's got the golden key. <laughs> and then all, everyone who's asleep who watches the media, they're like, oh, yeah, I we'll hate him. Oh, yeah, I hate men. Men are shit. Men have done all this abuse. My dad left me. My dad abused me. Yeah, oh, oh governments of the world are evil. And all of that projection is onto him. And the media have gone, stirred it up, stirred it up, stirred it up. And so the only way that like, has been possible is for him to come to us on the fifth dimensional level through dreams, through visions. And that's what he's done to all the most awakened people I've ever known. He's come to them in, in a vision or a dream. For myself, it was a dream. His, his 5D self came to me in a dream. I figured it out with my brain. Liam figured it out with his brain. <laughs> Using a computer. What was about us? <laughs> he came to me in a dream. Yeah. Yeah. So and and like and he said to me, "Shut up! Right, I'm going to say the dream. Seeing as we're all gathered here for Melania's birthday, I'm going to say how I awoke from the, my Trump derangement syndrome because I did have a bit of Trump derangement syndrome because I'd never met my dad. I was totally an awake person. All the governments were evil. I saw. I projected this massive narcissistic thing onto him. Like I didn't know who he was. Right." So that happened, that, that was just the way it was. I was part of that narrative and whatever, I, I was like, you know. And then one day my friend got in touch and she said, oh Jen, I had a dream that you gave Donald Trump a, a tarot reading. And she, said, and she said, you were in the White House and he literally was hanging on to your every word and you were like, you were guiding him. And I was, like, I was like, oh, wow, really? Oh, that's interesting. And then I just kind of, I let it go. Didn't, didn't really think about it. Didn't really think about it at all, really. And then about a month later, I had this dream. And it was such an amazing dream. And, and it was, so basically, we were driving along in this train. It was an old-fashioned train. And we were sitting in a carriage. Like, like, like it was an old-fashioned carriage, basically, with, like, you know, old red chairs and, like, a window. And we were, like, going really fast on this train. And DJT, Daddy Don, he was sitting by the window. And I was sitting opposite him. And I didn't know at this point, but I got up and I went over to him and I bent down and I looked at him and I was like, I see you. I know exactly who you are. You are playing the role of the fool, but I know exactly who you are. And then he said to me, he looked at me like a child, like a little boy, and with the biggest glint in his eyes, and he looked at me, he went, oh, victory to the Alliance. And he put up his hand and he went, victory to the Alliance. Boom. And I knew I was part of the Alliance, you know, and I was like, boom. Like, what a meeting, what a high-level meeting for me to have. And from that moment, I totally, completely awoke out of, my out of my delusion about him and my projection about him. And then it was really beautiful because at that time, like, every everyone was heavily programmed, but my, our beautiful divine sister, Magenta Pixie, she was being really open. And I so value you, Magenta Pixie. I so appreciate you, sister, because I wasn't really open at that time. Like, I, it was so intense, like, the hatred. I, I wasn't ready at that time, but you were there, sister, and I so appreciate you. And like a big shout out to Magenta Pixie because she was like channeling the truth about who he really, really is. And every single thing that she said completely and utterly resonated with me. Hold that cold. It's getting really cold. Ooh. Yeah, do you want to go and get a blanket? Um, so yeah, big shout out to Magenta Pixie. So and, and so that's how I woke up out of my dream. And then all of a sudden, it was like I realised. And then and then lo and behold, I found Q. And then I realised that 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 he was Q plus. And then because I am a very very high level open channel, it was 
instantly I, I realize that he is part of Q. That Q is like a, you know, it's like a 10, I, I see it as a 10 being military galactic operation. That's what I see it as. With, with high level generals, politicians and galactic beings. That's what I see as Q. And, and I really deeply, deeply believe that, that JK Jr. is part of that. So that's how I woke up, brothers and sisters. So it's very, very deep, you know. And, and so imagine how painful it is for me to be in this world, you know, where, where there's so much, like, you know, vitrality towards him and, and millennia. Like, it, it really, it hurts. It really does. So that's why me and Liam, we've got together and we're going to sing happy birthday as soon as Liam gets back. It's basically really, it's, it was very warm and then suddenly it got really cold. Liam's just gone in to get some, um, some warm like blankets. But we just wanted to be here to like really, really just honour them because, you know, the media has done a number and victory to the light, like what is going on right now is, is so phenomenal and I don't even claim to understand it because it's such high level, it's almost like six dimensional chess is being played out, 6D, 5D, 4D, all these different levels of the chess game are being played out and it's so masterful, it's so genius, like Q, Q has access to absolutely everything through all the timelines. You know, this is, a, this is a very, very fascinating journey to be on, brothers and sisters. And, um, you know, and we're all here. And so now that Liam's back, I think we should sing. We're going to sing. We'd like to invite all of you to sing. Like, we'd, in fact, we'll just take a moment and we'll just find ourselves just in a comfortable position. get settled. Archie likes to get involved in all these sacred activities I've noticed. He, get, he really gets, puts on his shamanic mode, don't you Archie Bear? He's doing a lot better. So yeah, we're just going to all just take a moment just to hold Melania, beautiful first lady of the United States, Melania Trump. Just going to hold her in our hearts now. And like, I really deeply feel she's connected to Princess Diana, to Queen Diana Spencer. That's the immediate vibration that I feel because I feel with her so many roses. So maybe we all just visualize beautiful, beautiful roses of all colors, of all hues in her field. May she be blessed from us, the, the true high level ground crew that we hold you in our heart, sister, and we honour every year that you have been here. And we're so grateful for the way that you look after, beautiful president. And we are so grateful to you. So just feeling them seeing beautiful partner husband Donald Trump just next to her and just see him honoring her down on one knee honoring the goddess that she is knowing that she is a very high galactic queen that has come forth to assist grandly in the ushering of the golden age. And God is always victorious. The light is always victorious. And there are enough of us who are awake. So as we hold them in our hearts now, me and Liam are gonna sing a timeless, beautiful song Invite you to sing along as well and just hold hold her and potus in the 
in your hearts. May, may we send Archangel Michael and further legions of protection that they may truly, truly feel the gratitude that so many of us feel in our hearts, in our heart cells, in every molecule of our being, there is gratitude. birthday beautiful sister and taking this moment where all of our hearts are open to visualize many of our families that are have been really really swallowed the mainstream media narrative really really just now sending a blast of divine light as we anchor this timeline of disclosure Knowing that this is all very, very symbolic as we anchor and birth in the golden age that the First Lady's 50th birthday is at this highly, highly auspicious time. Sending love and just visualising all of our family members, members in our Facebook communities, in our outer communities that are still not awakened to what is really going on, just visualising beautiful golden roses sprouting in all of their fields because humanity has been deeply, deeply abused. All of us have been deeply, deeply abused. And it's time for us to walk gently in each other's hearts as we send forth golden roses, whatever color roses your heart feels. Knowing that the timeline of Jasara is anchoring for all. 2020 is the year that humanity receives its true birthright. And we have all manifested that. And it is imperative that we all hold the vibration of trust. Trust in God's plan. This is not your plan or Trump's plan or Q's plan. This is God's plan. Trust in God's plan and all will be well. We take this knowing and remembrance deep into our hearts as we hold steady in this great, great transition, this great, great time, as we let go of that crumbling tower that the deep state built of this society that is built on fear and separation. As we make way for the birthing of the fifth dimensional abundant culture of Jasara, where all off-planet technologies are restored rightfully back to all God's children on earth. As we feel this deep alignment with this knowing, this actualization, this is why we return star seeds, star, star beings. 
Holding to the faith, holding to the remembrance. Holding love and forgiveness and compassion to all those who are on the awakening journey. Taking three deep breaths now just to seal this and just to send one blast this powerful energy to the First Lady of the United States on her auspicious 50th birthday as we all gather here. And as we all send out that blessing, we will play some kirtan that I'm sure she would like.
and sisters this is a really really powerful energetic energetic portal that has opened on Flotus's birthday mm. and I'm really really feeling deeply called for us to all bring now to our hearts the children that are truly truly have been being rescued not just in the last little period but over the whole entire Trump administration thousands upon thousands upon thousands have already children have already been rescued from this horrific nightmare of human trafficking and so we are all invited now to just hold these beautiful, beautiful children, God's highest, divinest creations, in our prayers, in our hearts, as we visualise all of them now receiving immediately Tesla beds, the highest technology that will erase all horrific memories, restoring them back to their true, true divine child blueprint. All of these technologies are available now. Visualizing all of these beautiful souls stepping inside these tech beds, these med beds, Tesla beds, and coming out perfectly healed, perfectly restored. I'm just running up to you. We are all anchoring this timeline. This is the anchoring of the golden age. This is 2020. We did it our own freedom from the third dimensional matrix there are those of us that have truly actually absolutely and completely liberated ourselves entirely from the 3d earthy matrix to the self realization of one's multi-dimensional avatar consciousness self all of us that have attained that level of consciousness of which there are many we are all holding and anchoring this golden age timeline and this is a fact as we hold this knowing visualizing all of humanity now all brothers and sisters all family members all standing, holding hands in a great circle around the earth right now. All of us receiving this golden light, this blast from the sun, this disclosure, planetary disclosure, and, and receiving a golden blast, unifying everyone, bringing everyone on the same page to the awaked, awakened state in prayer position to seal this knowing that we are the guardians we are the creators we are the anchorers of this fifth dimensional golden age timeline of which Q of which millennia of which Trump of which many many Putin many many leaders many high-level military generals are all part of this white hat alliance and we are we are part of this movement We've been given the golden key. And just feel that golden key in your heart and know that we are the anchors of this timeline. Take three deep breaths, breathing in that, that I am that. All is well. As we bring our hands in prayer position to seal this, all is well. This meditation is now complete, beautiful brothers and sisters. Thank you all so much. It's really, really important for me and for Liam, for our heart, and for our tribe, for us to gather on this auspicious day. You know, it's so sad what's happened to our family. So sad. It makes me so sad. It really does. But we won't go into that. 
All we can do is counterbalance that, and I do. I, I counterbalance it with memes. I'm, I'm a meme machine now, and I, and I counterbalance it all, and I make viral memes. That's what I do. That will be my job description. I'll change it from spiritual teacher. <laughs> I'm no longer a spiritual teacher. I'm a viral meme creator. <laughs> what do you say, Hans? Both. Both. <laughs> a bit of both. <laughs> meme queen's better. Huh? Meme queen's better. Meme queen. Yeah, it's going off on the meme, viral meme front. So yeah, God's really, really putting me out there, but I don't, I don't put my name on any of them. And they're all just totally, totally just channeled. But I did get a download that at some point I will see the impact of those anonymous memes that have been shared like, like a phenomenal amount of time, mm -hmm. like on all platforms and... <laughs> YouTube and all sorts, like as a like real like official source of information. Right? No jokes, they are, aren't they? They're appearing in like you know videos of like this. This is what's going on. <laughs> I was like, just knocked up that meme. No, no, I know. I channel information for the collective. It's it's it's, it's my job, so it's great. I'm really really loving it, and. Um, Oh yeah, so that, that's an opportunity for everyone to support me actually on Patreon. So I've created a Patreon because I've become like a full-time meme machine, meme queen, meme queen machine. So I've created a Patreon because I've devoted all my time to doing that because what it is is that like God really, really had me working on the sort of like 144,000 star seed, star beings for a really long time. But then when the storm hit, God was like, Jen, we need you to like, we need your memes, the power of your memes to go into like the 3D normie world, like f f or the, you know, I don't know, what's a really respectful way to call it? I don't know what, what is a respectful way to call it? <coughs> I don't know, but ever, to, to sort of 3D consciousness, people that I identified Normies. with the mainstream narrative, like they, are, they were instructed me that like I had to make, start making like really, really powerful messages to, to awaken the next level. So it's been really a funny adventure, hasn't it? Like me, because I've been so sort of like angelic and high, high vibe, <laughs> like consistently. And then all of a sudden the storm is upon us and I'm just like in general gen mode. And um, that is what's going on, isn't it? General gen. And, um, but it's needed, the ground crew needs this information about what is actually going on, otherwise they're, they're going to be, everyone's going to be freaking out and that's, that's, that's our job, is to, you know, to always bring in that higher perspective. So it's all perfect and, yeah, oh, was there something, was I going somewhere with that, Hans? Patreon. Patreon. Oh yeah, Patreon. So I've created a Patreon as a, and, and I'm very, very excited because the first one, so there's like three tiers and the top tier is like a real bargain. Like people are saying to me that it should be $99, but I'm set by, it's at 33 pounds. And, uh, and it's like, it's a Zoom meeting. We have a Zoom meeting and we're just gonna like go over the latest information, like hot off the press about what's actually going on putting dots together. And it's a chance for us all to meet each other, which is so amazing for me, having such a massive community. It's such a privilege for me to meet you individually. And, and a chance to ask questions. But there's also gonna be like a real total deep emphasis on meditation and like really, really activating our DNA and working with our fifth dimensional selves and really working with that higher aspect as well as decoding what's going on. So it's gonna be a really, really exciting opportunity to come and join me. Uh, I'm sure Liam will be there. He'll be there, won't you, hon? He'll be there. I'm sure he'll be there. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's like an open Zoom meeting every uh, once a month, and uh, it's just a way of supporting me for doing this work and for, for, doing, for having this meeting. It's going to be amazing. Get to meet brothers and sisters in the community, and I'll post the link to the Patreon. So that's on the 30th. I think it's at 5 p.m. I'm pretty sure it's at 5 p.m. UK time. So I'll let everyone know more about that. So I'm really, really excited about my first ever Patreon Zoom group. There's not that, there's only about 10 people signed up. I thought there would be more, but I haven't really promoted it or let anyone know. That's why I, I you know, I'm letting everyone know now that it's going to be such a beautiful way for us all to meet, you know, for you to meet me and like have chats about what's going on. It's really exciting. We can share information and like loads of things can come from it, from Zoom meetings in lockdown. 
so that's it really i think that's that was my message mm -hmm. and then we've got the five five transmission thank you loads and loads of people are booking up for that that's going to be so amazing so it looks like I, I go with like what daddy don says and daddy don is like basically we got the download that this is a 40-day operation mm -hmm. and so it ends on the 4th of may so the, the transmission is the 5th of May. So, uh, so we're working with this timeline to really, really lift this lockdown because it's like, it feels like it's, uh, they all said it was going to be biblical. And so it feels like 40 days feels like a perfectly round number for everyone to go inside, to self-reflect, to go on this journey and, you know, and then we rebirth into this new, new, new way. So that's the energy we're going to be working with on the 5-5 five five, is really anchoring this timeline of where, where, where lockdown is, is really, really lifted. Um, and we're also going to be working a lot with, again, working a lot with the children and with the Tesla beds and just anchoring this timeline of this, of this you know, this 5D technology, this Tesla technology. So it's going to be very, very powerful for all of us, as it always is, to do these massive global meditations. And we've got such high level protection. Um, I, I, that, that is a really, really been such a keystone of myself as I've walked this path of the amount of protection that I've had. And I know it's because like, my soul really, really is pure and I really, really am in service to God and I'm service to the light. And if God says to me, Jen, you've got to go and wake up the 3D masses now. We know you've been really enjoying like, hanging out with all the 5D lot, like making all these memes about like, you know, like twin flames and this and that. And like, God's like, you, it's time for you to go into, the, into like boom to, to, that, to that realm and start waking them up. So that, that is what's happened. So God said, that's what I've got to do. And that's what I've got to do. And, I, and I'm really, really just so happy for all those that have stuck, stuck with me. It's like, because I've lost a lot of people along the way, you know, that, but it's okay because I'm open for people, anyone that, anyone, you know, can contact me in, in another platform, in many, many platforms to contact me. So anyway, that's my message, I reckon. Um, Archie Bear's doing amazingly, miraculously. We took him to the vet and uh, the vet was absolutely amazed. We didn't need any surgery. He, his healing, all those prayers completely and utterly worked. Archie is such a, and he's such a powerful teacher. So we love Archie and uh, thank you so much for all your prayers. They really, really, really have helped. And um, I think we're gonna round it up about here, sweetheart. Yeah. So many, many yeah. blessings. It's gonna, gonna go make some dinner now for Finn and so much love to all of you it's been a real amazing pleasure to be with you all and um sending so much love namaste